Hey lovelies, welcome back to yet another Pregnancy Diaries. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my second trimester symptoms along with photo dump. If this is something that you're interested in, definitely stay tuned for the video. This is your first time stopping by. My name is Shantana Redman. We provide beauty, lifestyle, and now motherhood. I'm on my second video of my pregnancy diary. I did upload my pregnancy announcement here and also my first trimester symptoms here. So today we're talking about the second trimester. So in my first trimester, we're going to kick start with some of the stuff that we have experienced in the first trimester. One, for example, I've regained back my eating in a sense where I'm no longer wasting food anymore. Once the food is provided, I just have to eat it in a small quantity because in my first trimester, I wasn't eating as much. So I must say that I've gained back my eating habit, which I really love that for me because now I will start enjoying about the food that I love because for some reason, I just could not manage to eat off the food whenever I get it. It doesn't matter what I had. I just could not take it anymore blood pressure i never had high blood pressure that i know of to be honest because i was not the type of girly that go to the hospital i go to the doctor very often so when when i found out that high blood pressure is going to be something that's going to be occurring over and over i was a little bit scared because we all know some of the side effects of having blood high blood pressure during a pregnancy and trust me that's something that you don't want at no point in time but if it do comes i highly recommend reaching out to your doctor so they can help to prevent it from occurring and a lot of time they were saying based on what i was eating what i was drinking and i honestly didn't i wasn't eating anything i wasn't drinking anything that would trigger it i just feel like my arm wounds was just taking a toll on me but in the long run, it didn't get severe or I risk. So I must shout out to God for that one. It wasn't bad. Also, oh my God, this part took me out for six. If you know, I'm a girly that loves to cry. So pain is just one of my many not so friends. Okay. In my second trimester, my body started to get sore. When I say sore, I mean sore to a point where there are some days I struggle to come off my bed. Some days I struggle to sit in the chair. Some days I struggle to even use the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom to sit down to take a number one or a number two. I kid you not. And sometimes it's sore that I have to cry myself to bed, cry to come out of bed because it was that bad. But when I realize is that when I walk, that like when I do my housework chores, walk around drive around and everything i don't feel it but for some reason when it touch nighttime that's when i feel most of the soreness i'm at work i'm not really feeling the soreness because i try to like move up and down and everything but in the latter half of my second trimester your girl body was soaring so shout out to my husband some of the time for helping me because i was like a complete baby complete baby right I don't know if nobody experienced the soreness, but if you did, comment down below and let me know what exactly was a triggering part for your soreness. Because for me, it's just the ability that I'm able to go to the bathroom freely. And then the next thing I know, I have to call my husband to come and help me. Like, what? I could easily go on the bed, come off the bed. And now I have to call my husband to help. Mm -mm. But shout out to my husband. I said to my husband, he was there to help me right along the way. So I got to say shout out to husband. The next thing is that I realized that my the swelling of my feet start to kick in along with my nose. I have small nose. I really don't think my nose gone down to like my original size. Yeah. So they start to like pop out on me. So throughout the entire pregnancy in the wanted to touch in the second trimester, I had to wear a slippers. And trust me, that slippers carry me right through to work, to church anywhere that i'm going that's the only slippers that feel comfortable and also fit me perfect husband yes sweetie <laughs> husband baby big baby big baby come big baby I tell you, my husband is something else. You can't pull the door, big baby. 
a big baby no in luck with you all right miss who come bees miss who come punch in there on the back room with mommy Hey, babes sorry for <laughs> break we take a break cut now we're back yeah so i realized my feet were swelling my nose started as well so with that jesus slippers according to my sister it was giving mary and joseph that's what my big sister said but yeah when i said that slipper is comfortable even today's date i still wear that slippers and i'm telling you comfortable the flats don't fit the heels don't fit the shoes don't fit anymore it was just crazy for me crazy but it's a good thing i actually got that shoes when i went to the supermarket showed us shop us here for having those in stock because those were a lifesaver for me so i'm not even gonna complain because once i realized that those are my comfy shoes i did let my employers know that my shoes no longer fit and the swelling is getting worse and worse and worse so they did approve of me wearing the zippers coming to work so I kind of love that and the swelling y'all the swelling were crazy honest i might complain as like oh my god my foot is swelling but to be honest i have to say i'm thankful that i was still able to move around and to walk around and one thing i've come to realize is that once god gifts you with a child some of your features are not going to be the same and change is going to happen but you have to look on the long run that you're birthing a beautiful child in this world so it's a give and a take kind of situation you know what i mean so don't look at yourself and be ugly don't look at oh my nose is big and ugly my feet are swollen and ugly just be grateful that you're able to bring forth life into this world and just know it's not something that's gonna last for long yeah so they may laugh at you they may jerry at you but don't pay those or anything any mind just know that you're bringing a child into this world and that's all that matter the body changes they're not going to be permanent they're going to be temporary so after a while they're going to gradually revert even though your girl foot doesn't seem like it's a size 10 anymore but that's for another video <laughs> also um, in my second trimester um i didn't mention it in my first trimester video so i'm going to mention it for both here is that during my first trimester and my second trimester, I was doing exceptional well in terms of how my body movements were. I was still able to drive. I was still able to wash. I was still able to cook, to go supermarket, to go just about anywhere. I know person in the first trimester, most persons are like sick. They literally stay in the bed the whole day or they stay indoor or they can't manage to work. I was still able to function as if I wasn't even pregnant. And not saying that I was doing anything out of the norm, like heavy lifting and so forth like that. I was just able to move around. I wasn't sleepy. I wasn't sicky. I wasn't in and out of the hospital. So that's the next thing that I'm really grateful for, that I was still able to function as a wife. I was still able to function as a worker in terms of working in an organization. So I was able to fully, fully, fully function well. So... I was really thankful for that one as well. You know, some people say pregnancy kind of somewhat crippled them. So if you had experienced that during your pregnancy, I must say, sorry, if you're currently experiencing that in your pregnancy, I must also say, sorry, but always remember you're bringing life into this world and your body's going through changes with your hormones along with the growth of your baby. So it's not going to be permanent it's going to be temporary just always have that in the back of your head and also in my second trimester ah, i did feel a baby munchkin move i think that was one of the most breathtaking moment out of the entire pregnancy just to see the little movement just to feel the little movement in my tummy it was just so overwhelming it was so excited i was in awe i was on cloud nine i felt everything like gradually it started off light so i didn't really know if it was movement or in my head because i was watching diana pink and she was given different time frame when you expected to move feel the baby movement but truth be told not everybody movements is going to be like specific to say once you reach the second month in the in the second trimester the third month in the trimester the baby movement differs so um 
when I felt it, it then it didn't feel like a kick because I was looking like boop, like a big girl kick or a big boy kick at the time when I was like, mm, I don't think that's a kick. And then I realized it's something that's happening like over and over and over and child the excitement was it was there just to, like when i'm just there and i'm praying i'm talking i feel like the cakes and then when hubby come and you know having talks with munchkin you could feel the little movement gradually coming and to be honest the how i know munchkin was going to be that of who will be the favorite is when i realized he makes conversation he prays he sings he talks to baby munchkin and baby munchkin respond when i do i don't really get it on time on time but i'm telling you when he does you know like you know you feel the different movement you feel the different kick you can feel the level of excitement I'm not saying i don't get it when the doctor wants to like do move measurement and so forth um hubby will talk to munchkin and trust me the response is like crazy i kid you not but i will be definitely sharing some of those clips in the end of this video so pretty much that sums up my second trimester video with all the symptoms that i've experienced over the time frame so if you are interested in my whole pregnancy diary feel free to check out the pregnancy announcement the first trimester into the second one that you're currently watching now and stay tuned for the rest of my pregnancy diary and remember if you're pregnant now or you were pregnant feel free to comment and let me know what some of your second symptoms and also feel free to share this video with someone that you know is pregnant and also see this one if you're thinking on getting pregnant so definitely give this video a thumbs up comment down below and share with a friend that is expecting or if you're expecting you can also save this video and stay tuned for the other videos so i'm going over now into my photo down for my second trimester bye hello this is my second trimester photo dome this month was also blissful because in the second trimester i was getting my bump up and running i started seeing more of my bum also baby munchkin movement was there as well and i think within this time as well we bond so well because we're able to feel the movements sometimes you go and you speak to baby munchkin munchkin will respond by a little kick or a little shuffle and i really enjoy <laughs> this phase y'all see where i'm telling y'all the nose the was there my my feet were swelling but i and enjoy like every well. single one of it that we're outside traveling together as a family of three we're going concert we're going beach we're, we're all over the place and it was really fun and nice it was so sad <laughs> that i still miss my bump up to today's date but anyway my bump is actually out and about with us so that's a plus for us as well so i was just enjoying the second trimester i didn't do too much in all honesty but i was soaking in as much as possible and i'm telling y'all i did enjoy my pregnancy despite the, the hiccups here and there i love the love that i receive not just for me but also for baby munchkin as well i'm telling you it's top tier top tier but if you're watching this comment down below let me know how you manage your second trimester symptoms what are some of the stuff that you have experienced um your likes and also your dislikes so you can share and inspire a mom to be to let her know you know it's everything is going to be okay the changes are just for temporary not permanent bye